hear it for? John Stamos. <laughs> so good on this show. Well, it's so nice here. Uh, these women... But I'll tell you something. I was watching the other night, mm -hmm. and Yahoo Serious got the same thing, man. Yeah, don't they make you mad? Yeah, I'm kind of... <laughs> don't they make you mad because you know you look better than Yahoo? Well, I got better. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're a good-looking guy. Has being good-looking ever hurt you? Arsene, if you want to ask me out on a date, just ask. <laughs> what is this? You're a good-looking guy, John. And, uh... <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> It's not my knee I'm worried about, it's just you might grab something else. Man. Right. Cool. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. I played Blackie for two years, so... Oh. <laughs> How many remember Blackie from General Hospital? Yeah. Yeah. You don't look like a Blackie. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway... No, I'm serious, man. No, no, is, is what? There, what? Has there ever been, like, a role or something that they wanted you to play, but they felt that this face wasn't right? Oh, yeah, you? the elephant man was something I was supposed to do. <laughs> well, no, I don't, I don't know. No, that's never been uh, an issue, I don't think. Mm -hmm. You did a lot of shows after... The General Hospital, you were on there when it was at its peak. Yeah, okay? thank God. Yeah, I mean, I you could have been a peanut and got fan mail on General Hospital back then. Right? I was. <laughs> and then later on, you left... And you went through some changes with different shows that didn't work. Are you trying How to say I was a failure in those shows? Well, it was, it was rough, man. It was rough. Uh, well, yeah, I did kick around for a while. But you know what? I learned so much, and I was so grateful for those years of, of learning. I got to work with one of the greatest sitcom actors of all time, Jack Klugman. Mm -hmm. um, I spent some time doing a series with John Peters uh, called Dreams. And um, thank God, and I thank you, Lord, on national TV that uh, I landed Full House because I'm very, very happy over there. And I, and I want to thank you guys. We've just did our 55th show. If, uh, if it wasn't for nice people like you and the nice people out there watching, I wouldn't uh, have a place to go to work, so I really appreciate I'm sounding like Sammy Davis Jr. I'm like, <laughs> Don't worry about it. Hey, man. <laughs> Sammy was on General Hospital. Do you remember that? Yes. yes. He, he wore was... a patch or something, didn't he? Yeah. Uh... No, that was when he was on All My Children. Pop around all the soaps. He goes all the soaps. He... I saw him in Vegas a couple weeks ago, and I, did... I wasn't sure if he remember. I love Sammy Davis to death, you know, and, and good luck to you out there, Sammy. I know he's having an operation, yeah. so... Yeah, good luck, Sammy. If you're Hang watching, tough, my man. man. Hang tough, Sammy. If you're watching, my man. Sammy... Sammy calls me my man, you know. Yeah. He calls his mom my man, but... That's his word. But I was in Vegas, mm -hmm. and I was so worried, I didn't know if you'd recognize me or remember me. I said, hi, Mr. Davis, remember him? John Stamps. Oh, Johnny, babe. <laughs> like a long-lost brother or something, you yeah. know. We're hanging out for about a half hour, and he says... You know, he's telling everybody in the dressing room, you know, it's great when cats can work together, man, and maintain this friendship. <laughs> you know, like I just got off tour with him or something, you know, but he's great. Sammy's cool, man. Good so people. what were we talking about? Well... The we... Sammy Davis Jr. role I don't think I could do. In, in like, uh, the Sammy Davis Jr. story or something? Right, yeah. You, you did a good Sammy voice there. It's the only one I do. Sammy. That's all you need to do if you're going to do the Sammy Davis Jr. story. <laughs> it ain't like you got to do Alta V's, too. <laughs> you know? That was good. Um, the show... Full House has children in it. Yes. Is that rough? Oh, uh, no, they're the greatest kids in the world. Great. I mean, the best kids on television. I'm very lucky to work with them. I love them dearly. The baby peed on me the other day. That was... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, they're great. They're great, uh, they're great little actors. And I want to say something on national TV. This guy never gets the credit he deserves. Jeff Franklin, our executive producer, is the backbone of the show and one of the greatest guys in the world. So I want to say I love you and thanks so much for giving me a job and thanks for making Full House a hit. Okay, Jeff? Okay. okay. We'll take a commercial. We'll come right back with more love. The only love. Yeah. 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 How old are you now? 26. 26. Yes, so you're pretty much out of that teen idol thing. Right? Yeah, I'm getting. Yeah, I guess I'm getting a little older. Um, 
I started, I was on General Hospital when I was 18, so. <laughs> Somebody giggled, I don't know why. But she was fine, so, all right. <laughs> Are you glad to be out of that phase? Or did you like being a teen idol? Oh, wow. I don't know. I, I think the transition has happened naturally. I'm starting to play, you know, a little older characters on, on television. And, uh, I'm trying to branch out a little bit, um, play some different roles, different characters, you know. And uh, That's I'm an understatement that. based on the next question I'm going to ask What's you. What's that, young man? This role that you took on. <laughs> pimp? <laughs> John Stamos as a pimp? What? I got the clothes. I got the... <laughs> um, <laughs> We have a new, yeah, I just did, just finished a movie the week for ABC called Daughter of the Streets where I play a pimp. And it was, it's very interesting. I think it's time for me in my career to start playing some different roles and branching out. I always thought of myself as a versatile actor, but I, I never really showed the people, you know. And uh, this is my first chance to kind of take advantage of that. It's about a, a story about a young girl who gets involved in prostitution. Uh, Jane Alexander is the mother and Roxana Zoll is the daughter. And, and I play a, a young pimp who gets her involved in prostitution. It was, it was, it's a, it was a great challenge for me to do. And... Um, I, th I just think it's time for me to start doing that kind of that kind of thing. I mean, I am an actor first before a teen idol or, or, or whatever the hell, uh, and and that's where my head's at. I, I, I really, I really want to be a, a good actor someday, you know. And I think those are the kind of roles that I have to start thinking about. Uh, I've been studying as much as I can. Um, I'm getting way too serious. Stop me, Arsenio. Stop no, me. No, no. <laughs> this is a side of you too. Let's deal with it. Um... <laughs> Did they, uh, call you for this role, or did you have to read for it? How did that happen? I mean, because I'm being honest with you, man. I'm still thinking, if I'm a producer, I need a pimp, I'm going to call Morgan Freeman, uh, I'm going to call Wings Hauser. I'm not going to call right. John Stamos. Well, it was a different kind of role. This kid grew up as a prostitute himself on, on the streets, and, uh, and, and then, you know. I don't know. I, I, you have to watch it. It's a very different role for me, and I, I hope people ex will accept me for it, you know. Um, I can't play these, uh, these, these, these same roles over and over again, these young rock and roller guys. I gotta start branching out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got a chance to work with some great actors. Like I said, Jane Alexander, wonderful actress. Uh, and I think that's kind of what I want to do with my career. I want to, I want to try to make a break in the films and I want to work with older, uh, more established, good actors that I can learn from and, and hopefully be associated with, you know? Yeah. That's cool. Anything uh, else, Arsenio? Let's see. Um, oh, I gotta ask questions for them. What's that? Uh, the woman in your life. You no woman. I'm, 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 I'm free now. Oh, because last time you were here, that was just girl. <laughs> you were with a girl last time. You, uh, yes. you broke yeah. up with her? Yeah. What did she do? Um, <laughs> she's a porno star. <laughs> I'm kidding, Arsenio. Oh. What about you? Say, you say, how did Rose, you find? How did you find out she was a porno star? <laughs> Were you watching Frisky Business one night and say, "Baby"? <laughs> you know, uh, what about you? Oh, who do you I, got? I work now. a lot, man. Yeah, me too. I work me a lot. Me too. Thanks for coming to work Thanks tonight. Thanks for having me. <laughs> We're out of here. John Stamos, Facebook.